Hey, it's Michael Rosso, Film Photography Project. I'm here in the studio. Behind the lens is John Fideli. Yo! <laughs> and I'm here today to talk about the Polaroid 420 automatic land camera. As you see, here it is. TBT, to be tested. 420. This camera is going in our filmphotographystore.com, where we offer it to you, to buy, to have. <laughs> <laughs> It has a buzz because this camera, the Polaroid 420, is the camera that co-host Matt Marash uses, mm. and also the camera that Canadian photographer April Lee Hutchinson uses. No kidding. April Lee was a guest on the Film Photography Podcast in November of 2010, and she is, I would call her, a Polaroid photographer. Mm -hmm. She uses this, ca not this very camera, this model camera, and it's been getting a lot of buzz, so I thought that it'd be important to, first of all, feature this camera in the film photography store so you could own one, and to kind of just quickly chit-chat about it. This is the 420. When you open up your camera, the first thing you'll see usually is you get a book. This is pretty much standard with every pack camera you buy. You get the full book with the 1970s expression on the back by Polaroid. Please don't litter the landscape. Also, these cameras come with what's known as the cold clip. Cold clip. A cold clip is something that if you're shooting Polaroid pack film and it's very cold outside, you simply put your film before you peel it into the cold clip and stick it under your armpit. With every pack camera to take the lid off, got the button there, the, the case comes off. Here's the camera. As with every pack camera, never use violence. In order to open your bellows, don't yank, don't get violent. Just go to number one. Lift that up, number one, and then your bellows will come out. The bottom of every pack camera is this switch, but this is the 420, but the switch is always here. And, and here is where you would put the film, where you would load film. Your film would go through these rollers, which bursts, which bursts a, a pod of chemicals to develop your film. The 400 series cameras made by Polaroid, they all, ha they all have this bracket, which is a very different flash bracket than the 100, 200, or 300 series pack cameras. This bracket was designed to use a high-powered cube. Oh. Yeah, and it has a different bracket. Now, we've been talking up the fact that you can use an electronic flash with your Polaroid pack camera. And at this moment, we're actually in the lab, in our very studios, designing a bracket to hold your favorite electronic flash. Oh. So keep tuned. It's not yet developed, but we're working on it right now. The 420 has what's known as range finder. Um, focusing, you would look through this hole to focus, and you would have a split image. So you would see your, your subject, it'd be split, and then as you focus, it would come together. And then when you're shooting, of course, you put your eye through the eyepiece. This particular uh, camera is now loaded with FP100C color film, or you can use the FP3000B black and white film. Right now, I'm actually testing this camera for the first time. This has probably been the first time this camera's been fired in many, many years. And the reason I'm featuring the 420 is because it's gotten so immensely popular amongst listeners of the Film Photography Podcast. We've been really talking it up. Is this particular model better or worse than any other model? Not really. But the first thing when you are going to shoot a camera, of course, is to let, check your battery compartment. Three-volt battery. These special batteries are available at filmphotographystore.com. Oh, a flash like this Star Blitz came out in the early 1990s, maybe the late 1980s. It also comes with a bracket for the bottom so you could attach it all like, you know, old-timey news style mm -hmm. to your camera. That looks like a nightstick. Yeah. I <laughs> Here's the there. Here's a PC, what's known as a PC cable. And the PC cable very simply attaches to the PC socket on your favorite Polaroid pack camera. Right in there. There it goes. One, two, three. Here's your tab to pull your film. Very important to pull Gentle it. Gentle pressure. See, everyone knows now. That's fantastic. Okay. Ah. Great. Do not litter the landscape. <laughs> and here's your picture. This pulls out nice and even. And that's it. Catch the buzz. Get yourself a Polaroid 420 camera. Now, you can get this at the filmphotographystore.com. You can buy this on ebay.com. Make sure you send an email to the person selling it and ask them to inspect the battery compartment. You don't want to have a heartbreak by ordering a beautiful camera like this on eBay to find this compartment completely corroded out. Yo! Well, that's
that's a nice image. Yeah. Until next time, this is Michael Rosso for the Film Photography Podcast, the internet radio show about using film. Please join us. We have a lot of fun, and we sit around and talk about film. <laughs>